Do you want this? The answer is yes, because you do. What you will need for this tutorial. Adobe After Effects, the Free Saber plugin for After Effects, and a prop lightsaber. To get started, look up Video Copilot Saber on Google. Click on the first result, and then scroll down on the page until you see download. Download the correct version for whichever software, or sorry, not software, operating system you use. Then go into After Effects and create a new composition. Mimic these settings. Then drop your footage into the project bin of After Effects. Drop your footage onto the timeline in After Effects. Trim your footage to the correct length that it needs to be. Once your footage is trimmed, right click inside your timeline and then press new adjustment layer. Now go up to the top right of your screen and search Saber. Drop the Saber plugin onto your new adjustment layer. Switch the blend mode to add. Hey guys, this is me during editing. I just realized I left out something kind of important. It's how to change the core size. Um, you're gonna wanna go up to here and change this value to like at least 15. Otherwise your saber is gonna be really thin and it's gonna look kind of weird. Now go down to this little eye icon and disable it. This will hide your saber layer. You want this. Go up to core start and core end and click on the stopwatches. Select your adjustment layer by left clicking on it and press U to reveal the core start and the core end keyframes. Now select core start and position the dot to line up with the hilt of your handle. Start scrubbing through your footage frame by frame by using the page up and page down buttons on your keyboard and position this dot to continuously stay with the hilt of your blade. You will have to do this for every single frame in the video, and yes, it is tedious, but it's just what you have to do. Here is the sped up version of me doing this step. Once you've gone through all the frames, unhide your saber layer by clicking on the eye again and give it a preview to see if it lines up correctly. It should track to your hilt fairly smoothly like it does here. Now you will have to do the same thing for the tip of your blade. Any point during the video where your saber has not yet been deployed, you don't need to worry about tracking this point. It is only once your saber has been deployed that you need to actually start tracking this point. You will see that I'm skipping through the frames all the way until my saber actually comes out of the handle. Do the exact same thing that you did with the handle, but now with the tip of the saber. Here's the sped up version of me doing this as well. Quick tip, at any point of your video where there is a lot of motion blur like there is here, place the dot at the very end of the motion blur in the direction that the saber is moving, like you see me doing here. After you're done tracking, give it a preview to see if everything lines up. Most likely, there will be a couple frames that you need to go back in and clean up, like I'm doing here. You'll notice at this point, there's a little bit of red showing. So I just adjust the point of the saber hilt to cover up that redness. And then I go through the rest of the footage to be sure that this isn't present anywhere else. Now that your saber is correctly tracked and looks good, I'll show you how to deploy the saber at the beginning rather than it just being a solid blade the whole time. Go up here and then change your end offset to zero. Also click the stopwatch. I forgot to show clicking the stopwatch here, but do that. Your saber will disappear. That's normal, don't worry. Now, select your adjustment layer again, press U on your keyboard, and then press U on your keyboard again. This will now reveal your new end offset keyframes. Scrub over to the point where your saber just begins to come out of the hilt and press the diamond towards the left side of the screen next to the end offset. Then find the first frame where your saber is fully extended. Scrub over it and set the end offset value to 100. Now, if you scrub back and forth between your footage, your saber should be deploying at the same rate that your prop saber is. Also, quick thing, this isn't mandatory, but you might wanna come up here under Customize Core and turn up the end roundness a bit so that the end of your blade is curved and not completely flat. It is not mandatory by any means, but you might wanna consider doing it. Okay, now this is the fun part. Go up to the very top of your saber settings and click on Glow Color and then it will bring up a menu where you can set the color of your saber to anything you want. I'm gonna stick with the blue, but you can feel free to change it to whatever pleases you. 
So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you might want to scrub through your footage one more time just to be sure everything went correctly, but if you did everything like I said, then everything should look good at this point. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, and uh, feel free to leave comments for other effects that you want me to do tutorials on in the future. I'll see you guys later.